So go type Adobe Spark in your favorite search engine or in your favorite browser URL bar. Click the link, go there, and click sign up. Anyone with an email account can sign up and log into Adobe Spark for free. And here's where you would sign up with just an email. If you already have a Photoshop or Creative Cloud license, then log in with your Adobe ID. It gives you more perks and more branding opportunities. But again, you see the options you have here. I'm going to log in with my account and then we'll get started. And I have no class code to share with you. Again, you have to log in with any of the methods I've already discussed. Once you log into Adobe Spark, your page may look different than mine and that's totally fine. So once you're here, let's try to keep this just as straightforward and simple as possible. I'm just going to click create a project. At the time of this recording, these are listed as the most popular. I'm going to click this photo journal and then here, I can add a title by just clicking and typing. I didn't get to choose. It, it chooses the type and font for you. If I click this top plus icon, I can add a picture to this. So I'll just click photo. Go over here and click upload photo. I'm going to choose a horizontal photo. Click choose and see it auto loads. And if I want to change the focal point, because I don't like how it's cropping off his face, I just click focal point and pull this down. You see how that works? And then I've got to click save to lock it in. So now his face isn't cropped off. If I scroll down a little bit, I get another plus icon, and then I get to decide what it is I want to add. So I'll click it, and I'm just gonna make it easy. I'm gonna say photo grid, and then click upload photos, and then I'm gonna choose all my photos. Again, if you're in my course, these photos should be named appropriately as indicated by the previous how to name videos or specs in the course. But even if they're your own personal photos and you're sharing with the world, name them. It helps you organize and find them later. Like even if it's just beach vacation 2018 shot one, it helps you organize things. I'm going to click choose and look what it did it's auto created a photo grid for me and figured out all the placements and everything now if I don't like a placement there's something going on that I don't think fits like for instance if I want this image on the left because I like that leading diagonal line and I think it would just look a little better we'll just select it and click this left arrow and that will move it backwards do you see how easy that was and then if you're like well this one is really powerful maybe make it a larger photo and it will make it larger in the scrolling path. But it tries to auto figure out how these things will work. I think these are too monotonous, so close together. But I like this as an ending one. So maybe I want to make this one come all the way up here. I'd have to select it, click the back arrow, come over, click the back arrow again. And you see how it put it all the way over here. And maybe I want this one to be moved over. So you get the idea. This is how easy it is to create. So I'm just going to click Save. And here is the start page. And if you want to preview it, just click Preview. Now it's loading what everybody will see that I share the link with, so I can test it. I can scroll through. Yeah, this looks great. I really like that. So I'm going to click the X to X out of preview, and it's like, I want to share this. So I'll click share. How do you want to share it? I want you to click the publish and share link. Now it's going to pre-populate the author's name with how you signed in, you know, based on what name you've linked to which account that gets you in. If you toggle this on, that, that name is going to be shared with everyone. And you can upload your personal icon if you wanted to. And then you can put in your photo credits. If you want to put some kind of copyright notification on this page, you can. Just type all rights reserved in the year. Now, if you don't want your name to be shared, you can just turn that off and then click create link. It's going to build a link for you. And here's the interesting thing. This album is permanently stored on Adobe servers. So it, it's in the cloud and it gives you a ton of ways to share this. If you want to embed it in a web page with the HTML code, you this is where you would get that embed code. You can share the link, obviously, on Teams. Classroom has nothing to do with me or any course that I teach. This is a specified third party function that, again, I don't have anything to do with. So what you will do is you'll click on the shareable link. Just click copy. So now you have this link copied and ready to go so that you can post it. For instance, if I have a Word document and I'm, I want to embed an email in my paper, command V to paste it, hit return, and then that auto activates it. Typically in emails, Word documents, and a few other things, once you paste the URL and click return, it auto activates it so that now I can click this at any time and it's going to auto load that photo grid. And whoever is looking at this can click on it to look at the image larger. Again, full HD, 1920 on the longest dimension is the longest that you would need to upload. Great way to share your work. So I'm going to come back and X out of that and I'm done. 
I don't, I don't need to do anything else here. So I can just go back to my Adobe Spark page by clicking the home button. This will be stored here. So whenever I come back, I can look at this. I can re-edit it. I can change it. I hope that helps. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.